All right, hello everyone, lovely people of YouTube. Welcome back. This is As Divine Hearts walkthrough, and we had just finished up a very long cutscene, and we are about to shut off, set off to the center of the area, which is the Temple of the Shadow Deity, the main temple area, and we're gonna go confront him. We need to get on our little boat and head out to the center. Let's go. Gonna go through this mountain pass here. And we can run over here. Yeah. Alright, so walking right over here, just straight north a little bit. And just... alright, so just continuing here. You can heal up at the town if you'd like. I'm gonna hop into the boat and take a quick look at the map. We're just gonna go a little bit around this penance area and then up to the center. And now you can see the whirlpool is gone. We go straight forward, we can get off our boat again and right into the tower. Is a shadow deity really here? I feel a power similar to the one we experienced in Phantasma. You should, fundamentally, it's not much different. Are you okay, Zach? You don't look well. I should have realized this would happen. Zach, close your eyes for a moment. What for? Actually, never mind. How's that? My body doesn't feel so weighted down now anymore. How, what did you do? I released the power of a deity slumbering within you. The power of a deity? It's too much for you to handle all at once, so I will release it in stages as needed. You won't be able to use it now, but should you be put in danger, it will. It should awaken to protect you the same way it did as when you were attacked in the Bendigo, Bendigo Shrine. Let me get this straight. Are, are, are you saying I possess the same power as I do? Yes. You're what is called a light progency. Zach has the same power as a deity? Impossible. I don't get what you're trying to say here, kitty cats. I wish I had all the answers, but I don't understand everything myself, except Zack is who he is. A light progency with powers of a deity? Wait just a minute. Wouldn't that mean I'm not human? Zack. Nope, you're human as far as I can tell. You're born of a normal, of both a normal man and woman, and I take it you'll one day have children on your own and then grow old and die. Now, I can't tell you the reason... Your parents abandon you, but you were born like any other person. There may be some among you who might see you differently, but from where I stand, I can see I see you at, as the rest. That is, with the exception of your special powers. Then, what I am supposed to use these powers for? What's my role in life? That's something neither Nock nor I can even tell you. When or if these powers... You have will ever be necessary is a debatable question too. All I can say is that there is a light and shadow presence progency born into the world after they die and the new ones are born to replace them. It's not something we choose. Yeah, Neo, you're in the matrix. Wherever, if your existence is ever acquired, there is little guarantee you'll know everything concerning it. There have been numerous presences born before your time. Most went to the grave, never knowing their, their powers. Perhaps you were one of the first to even know. Then why are you telling me all this? Because by being close to me, your powers have begun to grow. Even if I tried to hide the fact from you, I realized that you would eventually begin to notice yourself. And there's the matter I promised to tell you about. So, that's what you were hiding from me. Yes. Sigh. What was that for? Because you're always giving me that strange look. If what you're saying is true, then I am just a normal guy like any other, right? I guess you could argue that my personality, though. Though, I may not even need to use these powers. How will I know if the time ever does come when I have to? Actually, never mind. It's probably best I forget about it and simply get on with my life, as usual. Anyway, I hope the rest of you don't treat me the same now. As you, have, as you have up till now. Don't even think for a moment about worshipping me. What do you imagine is going to, to... Who do you imagine is going to bow down to you? That's right. Even if you turned into an ugly slime, I'd still treat you the same. Where do you come up with these things? You know what? Don't answer that question. Let's see. The, let's set the topic aside for now. We don't have the luxury of time, so we need to get going. Right. Maybe I was wrong to bring it up suddenly. This isn't your fault. Now, if 
you don't stop apologizing, I'll tie you down your tail into a knot, you hear me? L whoa, loud and clear. Ooh, now that's something I want to try. Yikes, put those twitching hands in your pockets. Hmm. Stella, what is it? Your hands are trembling. Are you you're scared, aren't you? Saw through me, huh? Are you even asking that? How long have we known each other, Zach? Everyone here knows you're only looking out for us, and you are grateful because we can rely on you when push comes to shove. But this time, it's your turn to rely on us. Even if you have to lean on us for a while, we don't fall over with all of us here supporting you. Stella, we may have been surprisingly surprised by the newest revelation from Felix, but that doesn't change a thing. As far as I'm concerned, you'll always be Zach and nobody else. Thanks, Stella. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. I hope you feel better now. Yeah, much better. Oh, Zach's a big softy. And glad to know you still see me for the person I am. With that in mind, I've got nothing to fear. No, you don't, do you? I can't believe it, really. I really said all that embarrassing stuff and even held my hands without flinching, but the urge to flail this whip around is killing me. All right, what do you say we get going? Yes, I'm coming. All right, so more character development. We learned that Zach is unique in that way. So we go up here and we realize there is a door that cannot be opened. There's a engraving pattern around the keyhole, the store, which means we'll need to find a matching key. So we're going to run around and find a key. Let's go over here to the right-hand side first. All right, let's continue over here to the right, and then we're going to go up and over this little crack area, grab a chest, and let's go down. And let's keep running down and pick up a chest here. Got some intelligence tablets. Now back over to the left, let's go down, go past the door, which is like our center area. Oh, let's keep going to the left and we can grab this chest as well. Okay, let's run up here. And just up these stairs, go down this area here, and then over in the doorway, and we get the key. Extravagant. All right, now let's run down in the back way that we came. And down, and over. All right, let's open the door. There's no great pattern around the keyhole of the store. Let's try using it. Uh, Zach, you could try not to be so violent with that door. Don't be like that. I barely touched the thing. It's broken now. Let's just forget it. Okay. Let's run up here. And down. Down. Now over to the right-hand side. This little door area. Let's grab this jewel here. Reflect tablet, nice. Those are actually quite good. We can go down. And let's go down again. Right, let's run over here to the right hand side. We can go up and then over. And then we go up some more. And okay, let's keep running over here and up the stairs. And then we get a nice little platforming area where we're actually there's some spikes. Which you can still run into enemies on these spikes, believe it or not. Let's keep running. Let's go over here, grab the chest. Wait for the spikes to go down. Definitely don't want to walk on those. They will do lots of damage. Patient. Navigate around to. Okay. Now we gotta run north a little bit. Up here. Could have probably made that, but we'll we'll be patient. We don't want to take spike damage. Let's go in this little area here. Grab a chest. Shadow shock stone. Those are also quite good. Okay. Let's run down here. 
Wait for the specs to go down. There we go. Um, we can <laughs> squeeze in there. And run up here. Get across this area. And let's go over here and grab this chest. All the way tucked over here. Golden whip. Awesome. Let's go ahead and equip that right now. Buster whip to golden whip. Look at that attack buff. Huge buff there. Pricey looking whip with gold essence. Yes. Nice buff there for Stella. Gonna do patience. It was worth the wait. It was worth going all the way over there and grabbing this item. Don't necessarily need it, but hey, it's quite good. Light more shark stones, absolutely. All right, let's run over here and we'll wait for these spikes to go down again. And wait again. Duck into this little corner here. Let's go up the stairs. And down. And over. Okay, let's run down here. Got the chest. Run back up. Yeah, let's run up here. And we'll keep running up here. And a little bit more. And then to the left hand side, all the way over here. And keep running this way, all the way over here, grab this chest. Void shield number two, nice. Keep running down here. And down. Okay, let's run up these stairs here. And we're gonna go over here, up here, to the over to the right, and then we're... okay. Now let's keep running north here. Grab those chests in the corner, and let's run back down. Okay, let's continue to run south all the way down to the bottom, and then over here to the left hand side. All right. And we're going to run north a little bit. <laughs> okay, and then they're going to go over here. And past these little uh, arrows, they'll be important later. Okay, now let's run up here. Run over here to the right. And then up the stairs. And we are almost at the final room, so we're going to heal ourselves. Long-awaited heal store. Probably a very important store for some of you. Let's go over here to the left-hand side. And I feel a strong power emanating up ahead. Time to find out what it is. I should have figured you would try to intercept us, but, but no, even the two. But now, not even no, even two of you are no match for us now. That is not why we're here. What, Lumiere? Our master does not wish you dead. He only desires the deaths of those with you. That's problematic for us, if you haven't noticed. Oriel is right. We have no intention of going to the grave early. Of all things to try and bring up now, especially after he took my crest and sent the monsters after me. What other reason does not have than to kill me? You can't tell me, can you? Or is it you won't? In either case, I'll have no choice but to ask Knock himself. Himself. You still don't understand? Therefore, you cannot pass until you do. I won't let you won't let us through? Well then. We'll make you open the way. Now let's deal with them, everyone. Okay, so this is a fairly straightforward fight. We're gonna treat it the same way we try treated the uh, Julius and Vanessa fight, and that's we're going to buff Ariel and use our normal uh, grovel on your hands and knees, which is quite good here. Go ahead and 
use a line guard up. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and use a substitution. So I have this thing called substitution, which is a special skill that you can learn um, if you have multiple magic masteries. So we're going to go ahead and use substitute on Uriel because we don't really want this thing doing another turn. So now that Uriel is up, we can use our trust gauge, which I'm sh you should have all saved up for this point. You don't necessarily have to. You could let it take another turn. It wouldn't be at the end of the world. But this is going to save us a little bit of HP. And then from here on out, we're going to buff and then attack. So we'll line guard up here. And then we will line guard up again. Giving us all the extra speed buffs here. These things obviously can't move now, they're paralyzed. And we'll go ahead and buff. And we'll buff again. And with that said, we should be ready to attack. Now we'll start by killing off this uh, armored dude here. I'm not sure quite what he's called yet, but we will be using a Holy Lightning since he is a dark Equius Raven. And we should be doing quite a bit of damage here. Yes, uh, 20,000, just a casual 20,000 damage. Now. And we'll go ahead and use our strongest ability. So can use uh, Shadow Flare and we'll just use it on him. And we'll use our fan crush. Play this turn a bit. And Zach with the Holy Lightning should finish this thing off. Nope, not quite. Okay, well, Stella definitely. Now, onto one opponent, we can use our Gravity Cross. And Celine, we're going to go ahead and charge up. Actually, we'll use our skill. We have our um, Dragon Fang. This thing has Float Status, so it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Definitely one of her stronger abilities. And you know what? We're so insane. We'll go ahead and make it happen again. So we're going to use another substitution. And we can use our that again just because it's that good. We're just going to make this fight quick. And pretty clean, huh? Okay, everyone should probably getting levels up here. Perfect. You can still stop a master if only you realize. They vanished. Could it be we destroyed them? No, they were temporarily unable to manifest themselves after expanding much of their magic. In other words, they ran away. Then we should have made them talk before they did. It wouldn't have worked. Not forbade them to say anything. In the event they did disobey him, they would have they ceased to exist. Felix, what does the legion mean about if only they realize, or if only you realize? No doubt, a mere play on words. If you're so sure about that, I'll accept it at face value. But why should, why would the shadow deity drag you all the way to this world unless he wanted to show you something? I mean, the emptiness, you mean the emptiness of not being recognized by me? If that's really what this is all about, then he must truly despise me. Felix. Regardless, it changes nothing. We still cannot allow him to influence the course of history in other parallel worlds, the way he's done here in Rivera. Right. Okay, so our quest is still to check down the Shadow Deity. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. As I was saying, I'm going to go heal up here. 
And this is a wonderful place to save the game. Uh, this is the end of this episode. Join us next time as we track down uh, Nocturne. Nocturnal? Nocturia? And do the final fight of this temple area and finish trekking through the rest of the temple. Uh, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.